let's learn how to process reissue for partially used ticket with date change fee. For this PNR, the ticket was issued on December 10th. The first segment is already flown on December 11th. Now, passenger wants to change the date of travel for inbound flight from Muscat to Doha. Before making the changes, the passenger wants to check if there is any fee or fare difference applicable for date change. For this, we will check the fare rules. Please note that checking the fare rules is optional for auto exchange, but mandatory for manual exchange process. Let's display ticketing field using asterisk T command. To display e-ticket record on second line, type WETR command followed by asterisk and number 2. The status of first flight coupon is used, and second flight coupon status is open. Click on Tools, in menu bar, and select Memo Pad. It will capture ticket record details, displayed on Sabre Red screen. These details can be used for reference, while checking fare rules. Start fare quote command, with two-letter code FQ, followed by ticket issuance date with year. Origin and destination airport codes. Date of travel with year. Hyphen with two-letter validating carrier code. Add cross of Lorraine. Followed by fare basis qualifier code, Q. Copy the fare basis from ticket record. And paste it after letter Q. Now, press enter to continue. Here is the fare basis, matching with ticket record. To display fare rule, type RD command with number 1. Followed by asterisk with two-letter code PE, for penalties. Move down using scroll bar. The date change fee is QAR 500. Command helper also can be used to check fare rules. Clear the screen using Ctrl plus backspace key. Click on Command Helper tab on right side of screen. Click on Air tab. Select Fare Quote option. Add Origin as Doha. Destination as Muscat. Leave the date as it is. Add the validating carrier as Oman Air. Add Booking Class Code, R, as mentioned in Ticket Record. Click on plus sign for advanced qualifiers. Select journey type. And ticketing date from the list. Select journey type as round trip. Add ticketing date as mentioned in ticket record. Add travel date matching with ticket record. Click on, Get Fare Quote tab. The fare basis, reflecting in ticket record, is displayed on line number 1. Let's close the memo pad. Click on the drop-down for first fare basis. Now, click on the green icon on right side. Select Category 16 for penalty rules. Move down using scroll bar. Change fee is mentioned as QAR 500. We got same results with FQ command. Clear the screen using Ctrl plus backspace key. Click on manual command. Type asterisk A to display all the elements of PNR. It is possible to check applicable fare difference and date change fee without saving the new segment. It is useful when passenger just wants to inquire about the applicable fee for date change and may decide to pay later. Our passenger wants to check the applicable fee for changing the inbound flight on January 22nd. Let's check the availability for January 22nd from Muscat to Doha on Oman Air. The passenger prefers flight on line number 2. Let's sell one seat in same RBD. Display PNR using asterisk with letter A. New flight segment is on third line. We can use either auto or manual exchange command to find the applicable fee for date change. For auto exchange, the original ticket should have been issued with guaranteed fare. Type WFRF command for ticket record number 2. Add cross of Lorraine, followed by segment number 3. 
Please note that if there is a child or infant passenger in PNR, we will need to add cross of Lorraine, followed by passenger type code. For example, we will use letter P with code CNN for child passenger. And for infant, we will use the code INF. Let's remove the passenger type code, as we have only adult passenger in PNR. There is no fair difference. Applicable date change fee is QAR 500. Let's quit the mask by adding X here. Display the PNR. Our passenger is ready to pay the change fee. Cancel the original inbound flight on second line. Using letter X with segment number 2. Save the changes. Use IR command to ignore and retrieve the PNR. The status of new segment is confirmed. And airline record locator is received. To reissue the ticket record on line number 2, using automated exchange, type command WFRFTR with number 2, followed by cross of Lorraine and segment number 2. Here, we need to specify new segment number because the first segment is already flown. There are three different methods to collect the fee. Please contact the airline to check if fee needs to be collected either as tax, in total or on electronic miscellaneous document. Let's assume the airline advised to collect fee in total. Add X here to select this option. Move to the next screen by placing X here. This is the additional amount to collect. Torque code can be added here when applicable. Baggage can be either viewed or modified by placing an X here. Any update may result in loss of reissue guarantee. Original endorsement is visible here. Available form of payments are cash, check, and credit card. Place an X here to select cash as form of payment. To exchange ticket immediately, place an X here. To retain the price quote, place an X here. Move to the previous screen by placing X here. To quit the mask, use this option. Let's retain the price quote record. Save the changes. Type asterisk PQS command to display price quote summary. Retained reissue PQR number is 2, and additional collection will be QAR 500. Type asterisk PQR2 command to view the details stored in PQR. All the fare and taxes details are displayed here. Move down using MD command. Change fee is mentioned here, which will be collected in total. This indicates that PQ was priced with system fare. Display the PNR. Now, we will learn how to create PQR using manual reissue command, launch refunds and exchanges mask using WFR command, followed by ticket record number two with cross of Lorraine and in used segment number two. This command is used to display mask for manual reissue and refund both. Place the transaction code X for exchange here. Move to the next screen by placing an X here. To automatically price the phone segment, add letter P in this field and press enter. Although the system calculates the flown segment price, the fare is not guaranteed. Completed fare calculation line is displayed here. Verify the amounts are correct. And select next to continue. There is no fare difference. We need to add applicable change fee amount in the local currency. We are collecting fee in total, as advised by the airline. Move to the next screen by placing X here. Let's select the form of payment as cash and retain the price quote reissue record. Save the changes. Ignore and retrieve the PNR. Type asterisk PQS command to display price quote summary. PQR3 is created using refunds and exchanges. Type asterisk PQR3 command to display PQR details. 
move down using MD command. Change fee is QAR 500, which will be collected in total. This is the manual price tag for PQR. Display all the elements of the PNR. Let's see how to issue ticket from a PQR. Type asterisk PQS command to display price quote summary. To issue ticket from PQR2, type W with cross of Lorraine, followed by PQR2. We are not proceeding with this command, as we want to learn about manual pricing option in refunds and exchanges mask. Display all the elements of the PNR. Type WETR asterisk 2 command to display e-ticket record on second line. Click on tools and menu bar and select memo pad. It will capture ticket details, currently displayed on screen. Use MD command to move down, select memo pad again to copy the tax details. Display PNR elements. Now type WFRTR2 command. Followed by cross of Lorraine and segment 2. Enter the transaction code X for exchange. Now, move to the next screen. Sometime with P option, you may receive the error message as unable to find historical fair data. In such case, you must select the manual price option. You will need to enter all the pricing information manually, whether the system prices the itinerary or you manually enter the fair data. The fair is not guaranteed. The ticket prints with the code indicating it was manually priced by the agent. Let's start adding the pricing information. Copy the fair basis from memo pad and paste here. Now, copy the NUC amount for first segment and paste here. There is no Q surcharge. Now, copy the fair basis for second segment and paste here. Copy the NUC amount for same segment and paste here. For second segment also, there is no Q surcharge. Now, let's select the manual price option by placing letter M here. Press enter to continue. Original taxes are displayed on this screen. You can modify or add new taxes as applicable. Here, all the taxes are matching with taxes displayed on memo pad. Move to the next screen. Fair calculation is also matching with details on memo pad. The total base fare, taxes, and ticket amounts are also displayed at the bottom of the screen. Select next to continue. There is no fair difference. We need to add applicable change fee amount here in local currency. Now, select the applicable method to collect fee as advised by the airline and press enter. The change fee amount is reflecting in total Select Next to continue. We have already discussed all the options available on this screen. Here, free baggage allowance is not displayed. This option will allow us to add the baggage allowance manually as displayed in original ticket. Before that, we need to select the applicable form of payment. Now we can select this field. Copy the baggage allowance from memo pad and paste it here. Move to the previous screen by placing an X here. Now, the baggage allowance is displayed here. Original endorsement is also not visible. Place an X here to update the same. Copy the endorsement from memo pad and paste it here. Let's use TKT option to exchange the ticket immediately. E-ticket record exchange is processed. Save the changes. Type IR command to ignore and retrieve the PNR. Type asterisk T command to display ticketing fields. New ticket record is on line number 4. Use WETR asterisk 2 command to display original ticket record. The status of second coupon is reflecting as exchanged. Let's display e-ticket record on line number 4. Here, new flight details are reflecting, and coupon status is open. Total additional collection amount is displayed here. Display all the elements of the PNR. Type asterisk PQS command to display price quote summary. Here, PQR4 is reflecting with status code T to indicate ticketed PQR. Let's close the memo pad and display all the elements of the PNR. Now, ignore the PNR. 